Welcome to the GUC News. First with the headlines. GUC sponsors Civil Engineer Excellence Day. Music Ensemble Concert Auditions. Christian Bale to play Steve Jobs' role in forthcoming movie. Microsoft presents Windows 10, tries to apologize for Windows 8. Google unveils Android Lollipop mobile operating system. A royal episode, The Colors of Egypt. Animal numbers almost halved in last 40 years. Albanian Football Association claims Serbian police attack players after abandoned match. GUC had the privilege to be one of the main sponsors of the Civil Engineering Excellency Day, had on Saturday, October 18th at the Cairo International Convention and Exhibition Center. During that annual event, some of the GUC Civil Engineering program students presented their unique graduation projects. Egypt's Prime Minister, Engineer Ibrahim Mehleb, delivered a speech about the role of the civil engineer in building the country's future. And also Hani Aizer, the well-known Egyptian engineer who designed Europe's largest railway station in Berlin, commented to the GUC TV. GUC's music ensemble held audition for its new concert. The music ensemble staff were looking for a new talents to perform auditions at the music room from October 19 to 22. Many GUCs who had the talent participated in the auditions and some of them will enjoy their first live outstage experience in the future concerts. Microsoft has recently offered the world the first peek at Windows 10 after being frustrated by business dislike for Windows and the giant tech company pledged that the new operating system will delight IT executives. Windows 10 is scheduled to be commercially released at some point next summer. Windows 10 will offer a more organic experience for the two interface scenarios, meaning for tablet and the traditional desktop, and to adapt to a user's device and applications. Microsoft also said that Windows 10 will be a single operating system for a variety of devices, not only PCs and tablets, but also for the Xbox console and smartphones, meaning it will replace Windows Phone. Windows 8 is dead. Long live Windows 10. Google has announced recently that the new version of its Android mobile operation system nicknamed Lollipop will be available on select mobile devices during the months of November and December. Lollipop will first be available on the Nexus 6, which is a new phone developed with Motorola that hits stores in November. The software is designed to work across all your devices from smartphones to tablets and TVs. It allows for multiple users' accounts on a single device as well as custom notification for specific contacts. There is no word yet on when Lollipop will be available for the Android devices, but expect it to be available in the coming few months. To celebrate the 30th anniversary of his milestone album Purple Rain, Superstar Prince will be the musical guest on popular TV show Saturday Night, live on November 1. The multi-million selling Purple Rain is taken from the movie with the same name and was ranked as one of the worst best albums ever. It featured many of Prince's hits including his first chart topper, When Doves Cry, and the title track which won Best Original Song Score Academy Award. Comedian Chris Rock will host the episode which marks his return to the show after 18 years. Egyptian artist Suzy Arafa inaugurated her first exhibition on Thursday, October 16th at Nahdat Masri Gallery, Mahmoud Mukhtar Culture Center. The exhibition features 24 paintings Suzy has been working on for two years and was acclaimed by both critics and art lovers. It is called Egypt in my heart and as the name explains, all paintings are dedicated to Egypt. A recent report of the world's leading conservation organization, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, has stated that there were phenomenal declines in wildlife population in the last few decades. The new report is based on the Living Planet Index, which is a database maintained by Zoological Society of London that monitors trends in over 10,000 population of 3,038 species since the 1970s. It also looks at how human consumption's level have increased in the same time period. 
The Albanian Football Association has recently released a detailed statement that alleges its president, Armando Duca, was hit with a piece of concrete and players were attacked by supporters, security personnel and the police after the Euro 2016 qualifier against Serbia in Belgrade. The Serbian Football Association accused their opponents of a pre-planned terrorist action and blamed Albania's players for refusing to restart the match. However, the statement posted on the Albanian Football Association website hit back by describing the chaotic scene that marred their visit to the Serbian capital. Oscar winner Christian Bale is about to play Steve Jobs in a new biopic movie about the Apple co-founder. According to many reports, the Hollywood icon who used to play Batman and Moses on the big screens will join the forthcoming movie depicting the life of Steve Jobs, directed by Danny Boyle and written by Aaron Sorkin, scriptwriter of The Social Network and The West Wing. This was our GC News. Thank you so much for watching. You can visit our channel on YouTube GC News and watch our videos. Thank you so much for watching.